Hi everyone and welcome back to the Brick Buds. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You join me today for another Brick Haul and you'll see that we're all here. So this was actually our visit to the Birmingham Lego store during the half term week here in the UK. So we all went as a family. We'd already been to the Lego store in Milton Keynes that week so our daughters were probably a little bit Legoed out. They'd also been to the Milton Keynes show which I'll be doing a, a review of on Friday if you want to catch that. But they were happy to go out for the day we got on a train we don't normally do that we eventually found the store the ball ring is quite a big place it's a bit of a a maze I kind of feel like which floor to go up which bit to go to um but we we can read maps there was some interesting stuff going on around Birmingham there was some random tentacles on the top of some of the buildings don't know what that was about but it entertained the children so that was fine so yeah we did eventually find the lego store I found it a little bit odd that the Lego store itself didn't have any displays out front. They have obviously the displays inside, but the window was very lacking. I wasn't overly impressed with the build a minifigure wall. There wasn't really anything new or different there. They had a lot of Halloween figures that they'd obviously customised themselves. They weren't like the brand new ones. They do have the Mariachis there, but I already had those from the Southampton store. So I didn't pick anything up from there. That didn't seem all that exciting. The pick a brick wall was much bigger. I'm still really missing the pick a brick menus. It's so much easier to, to share with you. But yeah, here's the wall anyway. I also had a trick or treat Halloween trail thing going on. And the guy on the door told us we had to find the six witch minifigures that were in the displays. We actually found 14 and went back and told him and he was like, what, 14? I thought there was only six. Like, well, we definitely saw them. So we asked him, like, what do we do now? And so he passed us to another guy. And then that guy also passed us to another guy. And they just didn't seem to really want to help us with that. They were like, oh, yeah, whatever. Um, and the guy we eventually found, he just, he really, he's like, he didn't take our word for it that we'd found six. He's like, where are they then? And I just thought, you can see that we've not just come straight up to the desk. You can see we've been in the store for a while wandering around. It just seemed a bit rubbish to me to be asked like to prove it so it, I'm, I had taken photos of them as I went around as you can see so I could prove it without having to point them all out because once the kids found them they're not going to remember where they were I'm like just look at the parent and make sure they haven't cheated I just it just seemed so ridiculous to me but I guess they're giving away free stuff maybe they have to check but I'm 100% sure that if I'd been in the Southampton store they wouldn't have asked that question. Maybe because it's a much smaller store and they can see you going round. It is a bigger store, but it was way less friendly to me. We also headed out for lunch. I had some crab cakes with poached eggs. They were quite nice. That was a Bill's breakfast place or something. And then we headed towards the Lego Discovery Centre to try and fit that in as well. Okay, so let's have a look and see what we got from the Birmingham store. So I've got the bag here but actually inside the bag is no lego because i've had to take it out inside the bag is a whole bunch of leaves my daughter is obsessed with picking up leaves that's pretty much all she did on the way between the, the lego store and the discovery center you'll actually notice from the vlog that there wasn't any footage of the discovery center we actually didn't make it to the discovery center it's about a 19 minute walk between the the lego store and the Discovery Centre, according to Google. With two small children, I would double that, I would say. And Ian was actually under the weather when we went to the Birmingham store, so we actually headed home. Um, we just, we couldn't make it. Which is a shame, I would have liked to have gone, but we've got plenty of opportunities to go to Birmingham, that's where Ian's family live, so we we will head back and do the Discovery Centre another time. So right, so what we actually got was one pick a cup, Two pick a brick cups. Three pick a brick cups. I wasn't intended to get three pick a brick cups, but again, our kids got involved and they wanted to fill theirs. They'd had so much fun at Milton Keynes doing their own, so we couldn't really say no. So I think one is probably useful parts and two is just kid stuff. I also picked up one, two, three, series two, video band mates again so we'll see whether we got unique ones in those but we'll start with the pick a brick so one problem i do have is that i cannot remember whose pot is whose so hopefully our kids have forgotten that they did this and we can just keep the parts ourselves right so in here we've got 
bunch of these round bricks. I think this must be Leah's cup because I remember her putting them in there. Uh, some teal windows. I think that would be quite good for her to build some housing with. She liked the colour of these bricks. I needed these for one of my Winter Village, um, not mocks, but custom builds I'm doing. I think this is um, the Green Gracer that uses quite a lot of navy. We've got some little fence pieces. I like those. Ian added a whole bunch of the orange cheese slopes or trans orange cheese slopes. I'm not sure what his intention for that is. I quite like these scrolly pieces. We've got quite a lot of these. Uh, no, we, oh yeah, there's some more over here. Um, and these gold detailing pieces, like kind of the icicles. And then we've got some gold fancy pieces as well. I think that would just be nice to add some extra detailing to the city. Some fences around things. Oh, I picked up a couple of blue doors. No idea what they were for. I think that's everything in this one. A couple of flames, actually, I can see. I don't know if they were mixed in. If they were mixed in, then fine. If Ian specifically put trans orange pieces next to each other in the tub, that's going to annoy me because it always makes it harder to separate them out. He likes to make a challenge. Right, let's get to the next one. That was a bit of a failed pour there. I've just thrown half of it on me. Not good. Right, so I think this is the one that we filled. So we've got these knobbly bits that I always put on the top. Um, some trans grey or trans black 2 by ones um, some trans blue 1 by 2s some this isn't um, sand blue Ian kept saying is that sand blue I'm like it's not sand blue this is the same colour that they did the uh, recent Santa's visit house in and the, and the Fiat 500 the, the custom colour one as well I think it's just blue um, but yeah they're not they're not bricks, they're not headlight pieces. I've got some two by two round plates. No, round tiles. Whole bunch of trans red studs. And then grass essentially is what we're probably going to use that for. Some other snot bricks in white. Some Medium nougat, I think that is. One by ones. And I think that's it in this one. So hopefully this one will be the easiest to sort. All right, we'll get into the, the next one. Okay, third one. Okay, I think this was Haley's. She's our youngest. So we've got a whole bunch more of these, which we picked up in Milton Keynes, so we really didn't need those. But, you know, whatever. Um, a whole bunch more of the trans blue cheese slopes, which I'm happy to have because they're good pieces. These are the trans blue bar pieces. I've got some black slopes or arches, half arches. Some of these fuchsia bricks. Some coral 2x4s. Ugh, horrible colour. Um, red round plates tiles whatever orange slopes Ooh, some more of the snot bricks in the blue some window panes or panels uh, those are the bits from the stud some random pink bricks two by four uh, two by twos even some more hearts a bunch more of the grass some of these snot bricks, some round bricks, one by ones, and trans clear. And I think that might be it. Bit of a mixed bag or a mixed cup, <laughs> but quite a lot to sort through. Yay! I do love to sort pick a brick cups. I'll come back for that though. Let's open up the video band mates. Right, so we've already got six unique ones. So let's hope that we add three more unique ones to the, the list. 
So that's good. I don't have that one. This sort of squid head. I, I don't mean squid head. Bug head, maybe. This one is... Again, I think that's the one we haven't got. It's got the really cool guitar piece in there. And last one. And last one. Ah, uh, we've got our first duplicate. Never mind. So I won't build that one. Um, if you want to see that one built, then check out our Milton Keynes brick hall. But I'll build the other two. Okay, let's have a closer look at them. So here's the squid guy that I called him, but I, I, it's clearly a girl and it's clearly not a squid. I don't have a clue why I called it a squid person. Um, but it's got these rubberized, like the ladybug um, antenna. I'm loving the face on this. Look at those three eyes. All with all with eyelashes or just the middle one? Oh no, yeah, all all of them have got eyelashes. So that's how you know it's a girl, obviously. Um The outfit's pretty cool. I don't know what these poles are. Maybe this is just like a backing dancer as opposed to a bandmate. It's looking pretty good. And then the beat bit that's specific to this one is the middle one, but I also don't have this one, so that's good for me. And then this is definitely my favourite one. She is fantastic. So we'll have a quick look at her beat bits first. This is her special one. I do have the other two. She's got that really cool punk guitar, sort of the axe, which we've seen on other characters. So that's not new, but her face is amazing. I really wish I'd had this one for um, my Halloween um, group in the city she's got this cool one side piece as well because her hair's so big on the other side she's got studs just on uh, studs spikes on just the one side which i've never seen before but she's purple this is why i probably like her look at the look at the coloring it's beautiful so much detail going on as well some bracelet detail it's all that webbing it looks amazing um, she's got sort of that bit of the top. Oh, she's got a a tattoo of a heart with fangs as well, and her face is amazing. She's she's probably my favourite so far. I love her. So the last thing we also got from the Birmingham store was two of these Liz poly bags. These were actually the free gifts for doing the trick or treat trail, which I talked about earlier. One's already been built, and actually I didn't realise that you can build this in two ways. So you can have it as the cart, but you can also turn it into just like a regular sort of shop stand, which is quite cool. Okay, so that's our haul all done. Lots of pick a brick, lots of random pieces. No real idea where we're putting most of those. I mean, the grass pieces were clearly going to be really useful for cityscaping and adding like lots of greenery into the city. So I'm happy about that. The bandmates look good, so I've still got four to get. The Birmingham store itself was a little disappointing staff-wise, and they, they just didn't seem interested in Lego in any way. They just It, it kind of seemed like a, just a job for them, and I guess for some people it, it will be, but when I go into the Lego store, I want to find people who like Lego, and I want to find people who like children as well. They just didn't seem to want to engage very much. Um, and so although it was a bigger store and there was the bigger pick a brick wall so a bit more variety it just it wasn't as fun for me as the Milton Keynes was pretty good and the Southampton store is always good so um, hopefully they can try a little bit harder on that I don't know but we'll still go again if we visit Ian's parents but we're definitely going to try and get to the discovery centre next time as well right let me know what you thought of this haul in the comments below which is your local lego store let me know that as well also if you like brick calls check out our brick call playlist and don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an update see you later